Takashi skimmed the streets. He was trying to play the white man. I have to, I really have to give him credit for trying to play the goddamn white man. He tried to play the police like I'm going I'm to do something, I'm going to fuck with his hand. Then when he pushed my fucking hand, that's what the camera going to see. That was smart as fuck, actually. That was smart because you can't, the cameras ain't going to see you squeeze a nigga hand. All they going to see is you just hit a nigga in the back of the head real fast or whatever like that. That's, man, you know how, that's so much publicity. That shit would have went crazy. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroids, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in Takashi. This is how I know who you are. I knew that you was some type of different, you came from a different culture. I knew you came from a different culture when that charge came forward that you was fucking with that little child, whatever like that. See, when you come from this life, you not really gonna take them kind of chances. See all that being on camera with a hoe that ain't really, know what I'm saying? Like niggas that ain't fucking with that camera in certain places. You not really from this beyond. You know what I'm saying? And this is even more pushed to the forefront with this situation right here. First of all, like, nigga ain't feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can spin this shit real easy, real cool, because this ain't no real charge. So, the shit sound worse than what it is. How this shit work is, first of all, hold on. All my AO Nation motherfuckers, appreciate y'all hitting that PayPal, whatever like that. If you have not donated to the PayPal, make sure you hit it. I'm sure it's on the screen. All my local artists, y'all have to go to the Facebook Messenger and not the Instagram. And we'll talk about getting you promoted on the show. When you're living this lifestyle, the only time you can get crazy with the police is when you know that it's all love. Like, you can get real crazy with the mock calls after they didn't told you what they stopped you for, yada, 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 you peep the scene, it ain't nothing deeper, they ain't trying to set you up with the, you know what I'm saying, the other folks, you know what I'm saying, it's all love. If you gotta go to jail, whatever like that, I don't give a fuck what that motherfucker do. You ain't never, 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 never. If that motherfucker ain't put hands on you, you ain't gonna put hands on him, period, point, fucking blank. You not gonna play with him. See, the fact that you squeeze this motherfucker hand, that's so fucking petty, that shows that you come from a whole culture. You come from a whole culture. You squeeze his hand and see, uh oh, uh oh, I guess what you was trying to do was you was trying to get him to do something to you, wasn't it? Oh, Lord. See, you smart. And see, I've been peeped the scene of you, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you went on Charlemagne and shit like that, I first seen what kind of nigga you was. See, you that nigga who. You throw rocks and hide your hand, whatever like that. But this shit's been working for you. You make motherfuckers agitated, and then when they know what I'm saying, uh, they go crazy, you make it seem like, look, they the fucking, you know what I'm saying? They the one who did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all ain't, y'all can't pick up on that type of game because you've never been around it, and you haven't been around it intimately. You know what I'm saying? Like, hoes do it. Certain niggas in the street do it. You have, um, he's an instigator. Like, you go tell one side something, you tell the other side something, and you sit in the middle, you know what I'm saying, nobody thinking about you, and you come out on top. This is why he doesn't take L's, because no one knows the full story. And when it's brought to the forefront, he knew Trippy Red was a, he's a kid, a dumb kid, a lame kid. You know what I'm saying? He knew that he was mentally, you know what I'm saying, 
superior to that little nigga. Even with Charlemagne, he went up there mentally superior because he actually was in the street, but he wasn't in the street on that type of level. The reason why he was able to survive and, and able to rock them rags and not actually be down with shit like that is for the same reason. He got up under the right motherfucker to where he was protected like that. Whenever something went down, he never had to really feel the repercussions of it because he was straddling the fence. And that's an art. It is an art to straddle the fence and not actually ever have to see. Y'all got to understand, there's so many different levels of street niggas. Understand, Lord Jesus. I don't want to start preaching in here, y'all. Y'all always sound preaching and shit. But I just got to speak to y'all. It's so many different levels of street niggas. See... I often ask people, what are the qualifications to be considered a certified street nigga? How many ounces of coke do you have to sell? How many ounces of weed? It's kind of like, you know, uh, if you're playing um, any video game, in order to get a certain specification, you have to complete this, you have to do this mission, you have to kill 20 people. Like, if it's on easy, you only got to kill, kill 20 people, 10 got to be headshots, and uh, the rest of them could be any kind of body shots. And if you want to get, um, what is it, like, vet, veteran, or when it's on medium, you know what I'm saying, can do a different level of shit. If you want to be veteran, professional, whatever like that, you got to get all headshots. And you can get, you know what I'm saying, the badge of a veteran. All right, now, in the streets, it should be the same thing because there's so many motherfuckers trying to redefine what a real street nigga means. I'm a real nigga. I'm a real street nigga. Some niggas say that you can be a real nigga just by being a father. But hold on. This is the same word with the word hustler. You got to go out here and hustle. Hustle means you selling dope. These motherfuckers that change this shit to start me. Now, now I hustle, man. I go out here and work every day, man. And I hustle. I got me three different hustles. That's not what niggas mean, and you know that's not what niggas mean. See, these words mean a whole lot. So let's break this shit down like it is. A real nigga, real nigga, real street nigga, real gangster, don't have nothing to do with no parenthood. You don't got nothing to do with having your priorities or nothing like that. Real nigga is some ignorant shit. Doing all your priority shit right, that's a real man. Not no real nigga. You ain't got nothing to do with nigga. Nigga is not no, uh, uh, term of endearment. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what the fuck it was made for. Niggas trying to turn it into that. No. When we talking about this shit right here, we talking about selling dope, doing gangster shit, which is robbing banks, killing niggas, stupid ignorant shit. If you don't want to do the stupid ignorant shit, then leave the nigga shit out of it. Leave the gangster shit out of it. Gangster ain't got nothing to do with no, nothing else but gang shit. Gangster. Y'all switching these words around. And it's the way, the reason why this relates to Takashi 69 is because he was able to skim the streets. So for a duck, a, a, I don't like using, cause y'all really be blowing me with this whole saying I'm a racist shit. I, I, I don't like that shit. So I, I don't want to say just a regular white boy coming to the hood. If you were lame, just, you, you went to a private school, you know nothing about the streets. And you come in the streets and you, hey, uh, you, you trying to get some goddamn weed for your college buddies and shit like that. Hey, uh, hey, can I get a, a can I get a $20 of, of weed? Can I get a $20 of weed? Even the lamest street nigga can, you know what I'm saying, shit, get that nigga goddamn, a uh, uh, a bullshit ass tink. And goddamn, you know what I'm saying, that's so petty, you know what I'm saying. But you can, know, better yet, if a nigga say, can I get a $20 of weed? First of all, I'm going to thank the nigga the law. Fuck, well, I ain't got nothing going on back home. What the fuck you got going on, dog? What the fuck you talking twenty dollars back home? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't around here, big dog. What the fuck you got going on back home? Let me get by, big dog. What the fuck you got going? On? Twenty dollars. Now I ain't got nothing going on. What you talking about, dog? What wrong with you, dog? Come on, bro. I ain't with all that shit, dog. Who, who, hey, y'all. Come on, y'all. What the fuck going on, buddy? But man, call the law up here, y'all. Hey, call the law up here, y'all. Real talk, man. It's a law right here. And get that nigga from around there. But you got some niggas who, you know what I'm saying, niggas on drawers and shit like that. Niggas jump the fuck out. So, you know what I'm saying, niggas, hey, can I get a $20 of weed? Motherfucker, like, shit, I got you. Shit, I got you. Come on, where's it? 
I got you. Let me see you. And just run the fuck off. Or, you know what I'm saying, you got something to just take the shit like the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different ways you can do it, whatever. But even the lamest nigga can give, like, can hit a nigga like that. Give a nigga some grass and tell him to get the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? You're not a street nigga because, and that's what I'm telling you. You're not a street nigga because you rob, <laughs> of course I want to say white boys. But you're not a street nigga because, fuck that shit. You're not a street nigga because you rob white boys. You not a street nigga cause you rob white boys, dawg. You pull a gun on a white boy, you is not a real street nigga. Because when it come down to it, you pulling guns on white boys, but when it come really, and it's, and it's really up there like that, and you gotta fuck with a real street nigga, it's gonna show whether you a real street nigga or not. And you not gonna pass that test. Because a real street nigga be done slapped the fuck out you, took your gun, and you will run the fuck away. But to them white boys that you rob, they'll think you the most gangster shit on earth. And that's what this shit is. Takashi is that. He's that. You know enough about the street because you didn't been able to skim. You didn't have to go, like, you didn't have to go deep in there because, you know what I'm saying, when it's time to go deep in there, you, were, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get a job because, see, there's so many different places you can be in the streets. You can be in so many different uh, um, stages of being a street nigga. You can be that stage where you just first getting in, whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, and you just really getting acclimated to it, or you can be the nigga who, you know what I'm saying, just got out of prison, whatever like that, and you, you trying to do better, so you know what I'm saying, you get the bullshit job at McDonald's, whatever, you might even get to that stage where you a manager at McDonald's, whatever, but you re still a real street nigga, because if, like, the opportunity come, you gonna, you know what I'm saying, hit some, whatever, but even, see, there, what make you a real street nigga is, no matter how bad the street do you, you can't leave the street. Did I say that right? I don't want to get the wrong definition. I don't want to get the wrong definition, but in my mind, it's a, a real street nigga. No matter how bad the street do you, you continue to go to the street. That's where you make your money. That's where, that's where you comfortable at. That's, that's, that's who you is. No matter what street it is, a real street nigga, no matter what street it is, you home. That gas station is your gas station. You always going to get, you know what I'm saying, a dollar, get you two cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? The street nigga know how to identify everything in the street when it's hostile. Nigga going to know what question to ask. Like, what the law be posting up? What the law be posting up? Oh, they post right down, say, down the street, whatever like that. When you go down the hill, whatever like that, it be right behind that sign. You know what I'm saying? You got them watch out, whatever like that. They be on that bullshit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Any car that look like anything, dog. You know what I'm saying? We don't even go that way, whatever like that. We cut back behind them. They be back that hole, too. And you'll know whatever like that when it's a, you know what I'm saying? And they'll tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? What the undercover look like. Oh, shit, they got, you know what I'm saying? They got a white goddamn Toyota. You know what I'm saying? They got the, uh, the Burgundy Moreno. And they got that, um, right? They just, oh, they just got that black expedition. That black, it's, it's a 2000 and, uh, 2007. If it's uh, uh is it, is uh it's like a uh a blue and gray color. You know what I'm saying? That big guy it got like it got three regular rims on that big but one of the rims on, on the right passenger side it dark. You know what I'm saying? You'll know when you see it whatever. Real tinted. It, all of them gonna be tinted windows. You gonna know what question to add, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga on, and you'll be able to peep. Who who? You know what I'm saying? Like you first got there, you know what I'm saying? You really don't be making no move no way, but you you know what I'm saying, like you don't need to smoke weed, but you don't see you. Hey, who got to smoke? You know what I'm saying? Let me give me a gram of Just to open a conversation, that's how you should do it. I'm getting game now. That's how you should do it. You know what I'm saying? On anything, if you're just trying to see who, who. You know what I'm saying? Just see how a nigga operate, see how they move, see how they talking. You know what I'm saying? You won't be fooled and tricked by, you know what I'm saying, a nigga being fresh because he hopping out the patent side. You ain't even fooled by a nigga having money in their pocket because you know that money, you know what I'm saying, that nigga snoring that shit, that nigga ain't doing nothing but ringing up with that money. He ain't doing nothing but ringing up that money. That's the same money. He don't make no money. He spend the same fucking money. That's why he don't buy no clothes and shit like that. All he doing is hitting the bags for free or he smoking for free. That's it. So you just a crackhead buying a double up. That's it. You doing the same shit. It just, you know what I'm saying? It just, it just more money here. Because you gotta buy that money, but that shit gone. All your licks, you know what I'm saying? You maxing your money out. All your licks, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no extra money on that. You might make an extra $50 or some shit like that, but you still a broke nigga. You just got five bands to fuck with. But that five band go back to the dope. It going back to the dope because you hitting the band. 
and you only hitting, you you up all night long, but you hitting just as much as you, you know what I'm saying, Trevor not. See this shit is is you got the street nigga that sell weed, the street nigga that sell coke, you got the street nigga that sell pill, street nigga that sell hard, street nigga that sell heroin. A nigga might have pills, but he the weed man. Which mean if he run up on a goddamn lick, a smoke or whatever like that, smoke say goddamn the fuck one right here. He might have just a little bit of hard up on him to give to the smoke or whatever like that. But now for that little hundred dollar slab, he got sixty goddamn purposes. He just won. He just won right here. But when you move around the streets, you need to have what everybody needs. See what them purpose says now. Now, the weed man, he might be on like he might be on the pill real heavy. You might give him 20 of them whole and be then came up on a whole bundle of loud. Now you got crazy loud right here. And you might just want that for the holes over here. Know what I'm saying? So it's all there like a bartering system. But a nigga sell what he sell. This nigga, the nigga with the coat, he got the coat right here. He gonna dabble in the hard and he gonna have weed on him. But his thing is, his licks call it, no, let me get a goddamn 20 sheet. Let me get an eight ball. She ain't got nothing but the you got. Know what I'm saying? Niggas getting their mind right. The pill man, now see, I'm, I ain't, I'm not serious. This <laughs> shit deep, Lord Jesus. Boy, that street shit deep, boy. But you also got the robbers out here. Know what I'm saying? The niggas who did that niggas who can't see a dope. It is easy for niggas out there. Give me that nigga. Give me that shit, nigga. It is easy for them niggas, know what I'm saying, to just do this. But see, like, usually the robbers, usually the robber, because everybody can rob. You understand? I told you earlier about how, you know what I'm saying, you can take something from anybody. Like niggas, niggas come up, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? They practicing on the whiteboard, so that's practice right there what you're doing. You ain't even had to bust your fire. You ain't never even shot your shit. This shit don't even work, big home. I know your shit don't work. You playing with them white boys. This is how you come in the game. Fuck around and get a whole 15 on the white boy too, real talk. That's how you nigga get banned the fuck up. Trying to fuck with them white boys, thinking it like, uh, shit, I'm just going, you can't rob every white boy. The white boy going to go right back to what the fuck they know. Turn their head front way, to put them, uh, them short ass shorts on, and go to the courthouse. They going to say nothing about no dope. They going to say you took their money and their credit card. You got 15 on you. Because you set the lick up wrong. You said you, you you trying to hit the white boy. You think it's all love because you probably on the balls and shit like that. That's why you, you taking the drawers at a young age and going to get you fucked up because now you ain't thinking clear. If the if the white boy changed the, the location, which he going to do because he's scared already, he going to change the location at the last minute to where somewhere, to where you do rock, if you're trying to rock with him like that, it's going to be a little bit harder. He's not going to come to the apartments. You know what I'm saying? He gonna try to go right there to the, you know what I'm saying? He gonna go to the goddamn gas coat. He gonna go to the shell station. Where it's real lit up. Where it's plenty of fucking lights. But that's, what I'm trying to tell you, dog. Takashi skimmed the streets. He was trying to play the white man. I have to, I really have to give him credit for trying to play the goddamn white man. He tried to play the police. Like, I'm gonna I'm a do something. I'm gonna fuck with his hand. Then when he pushed my fucking head... That's what the camera gonna see. That was smart as fuck, actually. That was smart. Because you can't... The cameras ain't gonna see you squeeze a nigga hand. All they gonna see is you just hit a nigga in the back of the head real fast or whatever like that. That's, man, you know how, That's so much publicity. That shit would've went crazy. He could've won. That was a scam. I have to give him credit. That was a scam he ran. Shit, he tried it. But that police just didn't go for it. He ain't go for it, whatever. So I, I can't, I can't blame a nigga for shooting this shot. Cause that's a money shot right there. That's a that, as big as six nine is right now. You get assaulted by the police, nigga. You gonna be in movies now. It's over. with You down the hill now. So he he took a chance with his shit, whatever like that. He don't really get no time, whatever, because he can always just say, you know what I'm saying? The police line. I ain't squeeze his hand. There's a racial profiling. I'm a Mexican. I come from uh uh El Horror. You know what I'm saying? They they've been prosecuting. They've been trying to kill my family ever since we got off the boat. All this shit like this. You know what I'm saying? So he'll be straight, whatever like that. They pay that that uh that ticket, whatever like that. And then Black Lives Matter. They shouldn't fuck with him because he ain't black. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the D, uh, the Dreamer program or whoever y'all holler at, whatever. 
Somebody told me not to say uh, Mexicans either. I got a lot of folks saying that racist shit on here. It's just, this how a nigga talk, dog. You know what I'm saying? This how a nigga talk. A nigga just talking in passing. You know what I'm saying? Like Mexican, whatever like that. A Hispanic person is, is Mexican. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to... Hey, is he, is he Guadalajara or, or Pacific Islander or fucking... What, what island do he come from? Nigga, fucking Mexican, dog. Come on, dog, nigga. Man, look at this nigga here. Look at his fucking face. Nigga, Mexican. Trying to be black. Jennifer Lopez had that nigga. But, be fair, Paul, can A open Seiko. Y'all make sure y'all uh, hit that PayPal show love. Like I said, 69 did the thing. He tried to run them motherfuckers, and I got to respect that. Real talk. Love.